I saw fucking um, Vin Diesel say something stupid today. I mean, not that that's unusual. He says a lot of stupid shit, but. Do you remember when he got horny over that like woman? Mm hmm. Viewing him. Jesus. Yeah, that was pretty cringe. <laughs> That was so fucking cringe. Oh my god, you're so beautiful. You're How do you guys work around her? She's so beautiful. She's so beautiful. This is how I speak up in this. Oh my god, she's so beautiful. How can you look around her? She's so beautiful. She's so beautiful. Oh my god. She's got a very deep voice. Um. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, Last Witch Hunter, though. What a fucking film that is. The last of a movie. Because Vin Diesel liked playing D and D. Like before, it, it had a resurgence of being cool again. Vin Diesel very much into D and D. And he made a fantasy movie. Born! It's, it's like welcome. The dumbest shit I've ever seen in a film. Ben raided. Ben, Ben. It's Hello, Bon. Ben. Hello, Bon. <clears throat> you did say you were gonna call the Bondulance, and here he is. Oh. Discord couldn't even handle the high pitches, and all I heard was, ah! Ah! <laughs> It's same with you. Same with I know. you. Oh. Discord like, knows. <laughs> Come on, Discord. Oh, yeah, he said something about um, yeah. that apparently he said, Paul Walker. It's about that deep, right? <laughs> Do you like it deep? <laughs> Do I? Do you really want me to answer that question? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're all right. I mean, you already know the answer, so. Sadly. <laughs> hey, Lottery. Um, yeah, he said something about, oh god, what was it? It was, it was really dumb. He's, he brought Paul Walker into it, and I'm just like, shut the fuck up. Let the man rest in peace, you dumb bitch. What did he say? context in any way? Oh yeah, yeah, Vin Diesel believes Paul Walker sent him John Cena for Fast 9. <laughs> he said... <What? laughs> Yeah. What the fuck is that sentence? What the fuck does any of that mean? He said, uh, I Vin? remember. <laughs> he said, he said um, I remember John Cena coming into this. <laughs> Hello? You keep cutting out, I think. I haven't even read the rest of this. Oh, I remember John Cena coming into this Dom Shrine. Dom Shrine? <laughs> Mods, please name change. Dom Shrine. Dom Shrine? What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> She's gone. We've lost her. Dom, wait. Whose name was Dom in, in Fast and that, Furious? Paul Walker? No. Vin, no. Vin Diesel Dom. <laughs> Is he a Dom? Is that why he likes choking women? Is that... Is... G? Is everything okay? Okay. I can't. Okay. He said, "I have a John Cena coming into this." <laughs> we'll get we'll get to this story eventually. We'll get there eventually, chat. Just just hang in there. I can't do this anymore. Okay. <laughs> I 
to know what a dumb shrine is. A dumb shrine. <laughs> What's a dumb oh shrine? Um, oh that I had. You, you've got a dumb shrine. It's like your your Funko Pop <laughs> with Evan from um, Attack on Titan. I just read the rest. Oh no. Meditate and train and start getting into the dumb state of mind. <laughs> oh, God, oh my fucking god! That's what That's a dumb just... train is. That is incredible. <sighs> that is absolutely incredible. He said, "Call this crazy," but I remember feeling as though Pablo. I can read this now. I can read it. I've got this. I remember John Cena coming into the Dom Shrine that I had, where I would, <laughs> where I would kind of go and meditate and train and start getting into that Dom state of mind. Call him, call this crazy, but I remember feeling as though Pablo Paul Walker had sent him in. Pablo Paul Walker. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And then you wonder why I make fun of Vin Diesel. Mr. Diesel, sir, what is happening? <laughs> what is happening? Oh my god, I'll call him this... sir because he's in a dumb state of mind. <laughs> Charlie, thank you for the nine months. Oh, fucking hell. I told you he's special. Oh my god. He is. He's very special. And that's why we love him. He says things like that, then he does the Instagram karaoke, and it's all okay now. I mean, I think it's funny because he's so weird. Have you seen Jinnah him? Jinnah 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 Have you seen the fucking interview when he, where Ben Diesel hits on the interviewer? That's what we were making fun yeah. of. Yeah, we were talking about that. Where he's like, oh my god, she's so beautiful. How do you do any work around her? And he's like fucking married as well. Oh my god. <laughs> guys, guys. He's Puma. Vin Diesel's a Puma. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you, Paranoid. Wait, this is a clip of Vin Diesel hitting on the... um. Oh no. Oh, it's so cringe. It's so cringe. First one, and he. God, he's so beautiful. <laughs> God, she's so beautiful, man. Am I right or wrong? Look at her. How am I supposed to do this interview? Look at yeah. this woman. Tell me your story. She's so beautiful. Go on, yo, man. Talk to me, baby. Tell me your story. Tell me your. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Let's let's go have lunch. My God, I love her. look how beautiful she is. Thank you. God, wow, man. So, Tom oh, Hanks? Wow, man. Ah, uh, yeah, Tom Hanks. I found out that you were anything <laughs> like me. You love Dungeons and Dragons. I'm anything like you, because I love you. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm anything like you, because I love so... you. <laughs> guys, really? Look how beautiful she is. You guys think this is a joke? How am I supposed to sit over here when I'm just looking at such beauty? She's yeah, not man. even that beautiful. She's so beautiful. I'm in love. <laughs> I'm in love with the interview. <laughs> so you play Dungeons and Dragons. Oh my so I brought God. you. I did say I'm pretty. Did you? Eu sou o Groot. Eu sou o Groot. Eu sou o Groot. Eu. I love her, man. She's so fucking sexy. It's not. I can't do this interview. Oh Look at her. Does anyone say this, guys? He's about to bust. Like, What's wrong? Am I the only one that's saying? Look at her. She's so fucking beautiful. It's <laughs> like you can't even do an interview with her because you're just like. That's what he said. I swear. Oh no! He's going right towards it. Oh my god! Hey, someone save me! When did this turn into beautiful Get off world? Don't fucking touch. When did this turn into the most Taze. gorgeous girl in Brazil? When did this turn into I love you? Thank you so much. Oh, the look <laughs> on her face. 
Oh no! <laughs> at the end. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's <laughs> so bad. I told you guys it was cringe. I told you. Have you seen Vin's Facebook pages from 2012? Like, I feel like I need to show chat that video. Like, ripping into fucking Vin Diesel. Just so they can understand what I'm talking about. So, Vin Diesel is known as the king of cringe. Over the past. According to Drew Gooden. Good old Drew. We love Drew. We love Drew in this house. We stand Drew. All right, here we go. Can't guys. get enough of that, Vin. Past decade, Vin Diesel has become an You're international movie superstar. Dude, every time you do that, I think it's Vin Diesel. Oh, hold on. Actually, he's uh. What the fuck? The other one? Yeah, there we go. Using his superhuman physique and almost supernatural deep voice, Vin Diesel has carved out quite a niche for himself in Hollywood that doesn't seem to be going away anytime soon. But while Vin has built a reputation as being a bit of a badass on screen, off screen things start to get mm. weird. Because when he doesn't have a script to fall back on and has to form words and, God forbid, sentences with his tiny little meatball brain, things start to go south pretty quickly in the most fascinating way. When did this turn into Oh no! Oh, the fail! The most popular example of Vin Diesel cringe was on this interview from a couple years ago with a Brazilian reporter. I'll only touch on this briefly because a lot of you probably already saw this. I can't, I can't, G. But it's still worth it. <laughs> you can't so do the it. The few minutes of this interview are pretty normal. He's just talking about the film he's in and his a little bit of a history about his career. And then he starts to bore himself. And he instead he starts to bore himself. <laughs> and just bombards her with compliments. But Tom Hanks was the first one. And he... he God, you're so beautiful. Oh my God, you're so beautiful. <laughs> She's so beautiful, man. Am I right or wrong? Look at her. She's so beautiful. How am I supposed to do this interview? Look, Look at this her. woman. Tell me your story. She's so beautiful. Call your old man. Talk to me, baby. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Let's, let's go have lunch. Oh my God, I love her. Look how beautiful she is. Thank you. God. Girl, I want to buy you lunch. <laughs> just keeps going at it and going at it and she does her best to get the interview back on track but then a few minutes later that's what i, I guess call fucking his brain just handle this much conversation so he just goes back to like you are beautiful let's go home and fuck i love her man she's so fucking sexy it's not i can't uh, <laughs> look at her she's so fucking beautiful she's it's so like, uncomfortable get up, get up. you're just like <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, he's married with so many kids. Um, but I guess that would be the definition of cringe. So we're to a good start. When did this turn into beautiful world? So that was a bit weird. <laughs> uh, rightfully so. It's very what weird. What does that even mean? <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> what does that even mean? When did this turn into beautiful world? Just to ending there. There's so much more. <laughs> So let's dive a little bit deeper, but to do so, we need to head over to Facebook. Vin Diesel is the king of Facebook. If you had to guess how many people currently like Vin Diesel's uh, page on Facebook, his fan page, how many do you think? Uh, 10 million? 50 million? Not even close. A hundred million people. A hundred like million people. A <laughs> lot of Russian bots. Good lord. Oh my ever. god. And the main reason for that is Facebook live streams. I'm doing a live, guys, so just have a seat and this is gonna be fun. I've never seen someone use so many words <laughs> to say <laughs> so little. Watch I the just... first 30 <laughs> seconds of this oh one. See, <laughs> I just... Scam. I just realized I had the really ominous oh, Resident my. Evil music in the background <laughs> while I played it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is How that music? I'm giving you big hugs in a second. I'm giving you big hugs in a second. I'm doing a live. I'm doing a live. I'll give big hugs in a second. I'm doing a live. I'm doing a live. Do you want to I'm do doing a live. A live. I am do a live doing a live. Together, I'm doing a live. And, um... Oh the reason why I'm doing I'm a doing live, a live uh, is because Oh wait, I think I missed it. What is he doing? I'm doing a live. <laughs> I'm doing a live. 
Okay. After spending about two minutes saying that he's doing a live and eventually saying he's doing <laughs> a live because he's thankful to Comcast. Comcast has come in and done wonders. He says that, you know, it's Saturday night and while everyone's having fun, as they, they should, should, the yeah. cast of Fast <laughs> and Furious is here brainstorming ideas. We try to imagine what would excite you in the future, what storylines you would like to see. Just DM to you. And we try to find the, the truth in our mythology and we try to maintain the integrity oh, that, so that is what the fact that you're excited about. Oh my god. I love so much. Come and brainstorm with me. Um, <laughs> He's always blowing up the spot live. <laughs> you get the feeling that Michelle Rodriguez here and, and everyone else in the room was like, oh, not again. He's not doing another one of these things, is he? He's going to incorporate us in it, and he's not going to say anything, and we're just going to have to sit there and smile for several minutes. You're watching a, 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 a Facebook live. live. That's right, Ben. That's what we're doing. I guess what, what this, this, oh, this, this visual shows you is dedication. And, uh, um, a commitment to integrity. Commitment to integrity. So uh -huh. the, this is alive. This is alive. Oh, alive. I was. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but it's hard to even focus on what he's saying because all I can see. Simon, Simon, he's doing no. a live. He's doing a live. You're doing a live right so now. So am I. We're both doing a live, but he's, so is Vin he's Diesel. The giant ass thing in his teeth. But you oh no! You want to see something, guys? Just pay close attention to where it is, and then watch this next clip. Come on, of course they can. The puppy head they do not impeccable. Stop it. Um, listen. It moved. Oh, I've never seen that in my life. This is harsh. comedy right here, guys. I don't want to hear anybody else else's idea of what comedy is because it's this. We found it. <laughs> okay, here's another live stream where um, he was at the Avengers Infinity War premiere, and he's talking to the camera. He's addressing, you know, the live Facebook audience. The live Facebook to, like, audience. Another red carpet interview, and like mid sentence, in the middle of his own sentence, completely forgets that he's live streaming and just casually puts his phone in his pocket. <laughs> look at that accent. Oh okay, look I at that accent. Can you, oh, I want, look at that accent. Oh, let me get on this. So dumb. Guys, you see this? <laughs> so it's fucking dumb. No, this is the best part. Just continues like, to sit the in fuck, there mate? for the next no, ten no. minutes before he finally pulls it out and realizes what he did. <laughs> yeah, no, let him, let him fuck. Oh my! Oh my God! Yo, you guys have been in my pocket the whole time. <laughs> I mean, he obviously yeah. handled it. We know. Well, but God, that's hilarious. <laughs> this one actually. We've been in his pocket normal. the whole uh, time. It only lasts about 90 seconds. Chinese food. You see, Vin is a God. big fan of Milestone. I wish I was he in always his pocket right now. Milestone Same. Live stream, and he just hit a big one, 50 million. But unfortunately, thanks to oh, some bad timing, I he my God, in my pocket. Uh, when he gets <laughs> the it in, there. in the middle of his big day. Not in the worry, dumb though, shrine. He has a plan to make up for it. He goes ahead and plays this very special video. Oh god, this video. Filmed and edited himself. Look at this, Simon. A special treat for the fans. <laughs> oh no, it's too much. Silhouette looks oh, Carly, I'm sorry, I scared her. I scared Carly. So that goes on for about five minutes. And then oh my good girl, I'm sorry, Baba. And says this. stream of his that was apparently right before he was going on Jimmy Kimmel. Nothing too crazy to see here, except 60% of it is upside down. <laughs> one pretty weird interaction here, though, when he's talking to these football players backstage, uh, and he refers to himself as Daddy. They're the real thing. They warmed him up for me. They warmed him up for Daddy. Thank you, guys. And after making sure oh. to establish himself as the biggest alpha male in the room, he goes out and nails that interview. Purple. 
Purple. Purple. Maybe that's what it is. Purple. Purple. I'll admit that it might be a little unfair of me to judge him too harshly based on live streams. A lot of times in live streams, you know, I've done Twitch a few times. Oh, he's... Yeah, you say some weird things, yeah, things on Twitch. I don't have nipples on my ankle, so I don't want to judge him too harshly. <laughs> <laughs> don't know what that's like. Some of his Facebook no. Nope. Now, these are, of course, things that he... Right, we don't say weird things on Twitch. Never. thought about it, decided yes... I will post then that, I and then he posted it. So a lot of extra steps there, a lot of room for potentially being like, oh, maybe I won't do that, but he went ahead and decided anyway. So these are uh, prime Ben Diesel posts. Let's check them out. Here's a fan edit from 2015 where he is being sexually oh. embraced by an elephant. It's not so much the fact that this picture exists, but the fact that he chose to put it on his page. Thank you, world, for making the new Triple X the return of Xander Cage the number one movie in the world. <laughs> is the caption to this picture. What? I'm not sure I see the correlation. <laughs> to accomplish great oh, things, fuck. we must dream as well as act. Great work, <laughs> great picture. What is with him and elephant? I don't understand. He's got some really oh. good self quotes. Fucking elephant. It's, I guess it's uh, wisdom. Or like like this one. Possibly. Well, love motivates me in everything I do. Ben the wisest animal of all the elephants. Good, <laughs> but why even include the well? It's like well. Second. <laughs> well, love motivates me in everything I do. Protect our sacred places. And then it's a picture of him standing in front of Stop! Stop. You gotta protect Stonehenge. Have you seen <laughs> all stacked up on top of each other, all funny like? We gotta protect him. <laughs> Don't mind me just casually skipping past three consecutive photos that heavily featured <laughs> including this one where I suppose shirtless Vin Diesel is protecting New York from a giant elephant. I don't understand. Oh my have god. This <laughs> And then it's, uh, <laughs> I don't even know what to say about this. So Vin Diesel <laughs> seems like a pretty wacky guy, but it doesn't stop at internet videos or funny memes or live streams. There's one more thing I need to show you guys, and I'm really excited about this. I was going to make a whole video about this a few months ago, but then I just put it on the shelf for a while. And then I realized while making this one that this would make for the perfect ending. And no, this isn't entirely about Vin Diesel. I just want to go ahead and preface that now. But he does have a pretty large role in this, and I would be remiss if I went through this whole video without even mentioning it. And the thing I'm talking about, of course, is the Fast and Furious ride at Universal Studios. God, Fast this thing is so bad. The newest attraction oh, Universal yeah. It's so no, bad. So, coincidentally, the worst ride I have ever oh, been on God. in my life. When my soon-to-be wife, Amanda, who used to work at Universal, first took me on this ride a few months ago, she prefaced it by saying that the line is better than the ride. I'm wow. Sure positive, but after being underwhelmed by the- The line the is better than the ride. Garage, I started to get a bad feeling about what was in store for me. That's the when you know. The first red flag that pops up is the sheer plot of the ride. I imagine- between all 75 of the Fast and Furious movies, they could have found one exciting storyline to be the centerpiece of this ride, but instead, here's the plot. You and the rest of the people on board are on a party bus, and you're on your way to a party. party bus? A Venga bus! Get on the, ride, the Venga bus is the coming. The FBI is here to raid the place. They never say why or what the FBI is trying to find. I guess it's us? They're trying to crack down on us having fun? I don't know, but like, that's the plot of this ride? Why not just, I don't know, do a race? And then we could just drive fast. That would be fun. I'd want to ride that. Instead, you spend the entire six minutes sitting on a slow moving bus watching the ride. This what? isn't ideal for a theme park attraction. Oh my god, look at the CGI! It's terrible! Ride watching it's wasn't a total it's not good. Fest. You're under arrest right now! I've seen bad acting at theme parks before, but good god, I thought these guys were professionals. We don't work for nobody. Oh yeah, there he is. There's my guy. We don't work for nobody. He seems really happy to be a part of this. Uh. So, what the hell is this animation? Did they 3D animate each character using PlayStation 2 graphics? They couldn't have just green screened this shit? <laughs> 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 
spend, I don't know, four days on it? This is <laughs> embarrassing, and I'm not the only one who feels this way. The top comment on this POV YouTube video I'm borrowing some extra footage from is this. The camera doesn't do it justice. It's much worse. <laughs> This ride does its best to tarnish the great legacy that Universal Studios has always had in my eyes. Its shittiness to me is highlighted by the fact that it's right next to the Mummy ride, which has been around forever and is the most fun indoor roller coaster. I've oh, ever had. that looks I've cool. I've this ride probably a hundred times, and it's still fun. I would have enjoyed this interview a lot more if I had gotten my cup of coffee. You ride the Fast and Furious ride once and it makes you want to throw away your annual pass. I don't know how much they care though, because they could have put literally anything here and it would still do its job of showcasing a few cool cars and the ridiculously overpriced merch. Whoa. Including this entire section of signed paraphernalia by Michelle Rodriguez. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. This video is Ooh. about Vin Diesel and as Ooh. bad as this ride is, it does do a good okay. job of saving the Shit. best for last. You see, I was pretty disappointed coming out of the ride oh. until I spotted my hero, my knight in shining armor, Vin. It's crazy he has the time. The RX-7, man. Long, considering all of his movies that are coming up, but I'm so glad he does. Best day ever. <laughs> well, that was fun. I gotta do that again sometime. So, what was your favorite part of the video? Yeah. <laughs> Me that too. That was pretty funny. But my favorite part of the video was the ad. Yeah. So, um, Vin Diesel, king of cringe. King of cringe, guys. For no particular reason. No Apart from everything that he says and does and is. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. yeah.